Yes, Good morning, sir. I am Mubendra. I am basically from Kannur district, Andhra Pradesh, and currently staying at Hyderabad to pursue my technical courses. And I am seeking for, for job seeking. I am searching for a job with the technical skills of the testing and the Java. And I complete my graduation in the year of 2022 from the SVB University Tirupati. With the, uh, with the course of BSc in the stream of mass physics and computer science, and I have achieved my C certificate with A grade in my graduation. And uh, I, I, I want an opportunity to enhance my skills uh, towards the area sector by my consistency. And I'm working, I will become as a senior software developer or test engineer because uh, I want to be placed. I am passionate in the IT sector. And, uh, I have the ability, ability to, to do work independently and I am easily adaptable, adaptable to the new environment and I am the hard worker with positive attitude and uh, coming to my family background, my, my family consists of four members, me, father, mother and family sister and uh, thank you for introducing myself. Yeah, okay. Uh, in your resume, you have mentioned that you are a good now at software development guys. Yes, so, what do you know about software development life cycle? Software development life cycle is, is implementing activities one by one in the project development. Okay. Like, uh, is there any phases for software development life cycle? Yes, sir. there are several phases like requirement gathering, planning or analysis, designing, coding, testing, deployment, and maintenance phases are there in software development life cycle. What is meant by deployment? Deployment is nothing but after completion of our whole test phase, we have to deploy the entire project in the market. Yeah, okay. How many levels of testing we can do in the industry? Uh, yeah, we have four, four types of levels that is unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and uh, user acceptance testing. Okay, is our testing done by testers? No, sir. Uh, only uh, testers that are uh, Testers can learn only, only testers can learn the black box testing that, they, that consists of two levels of testing that is system testing and user acceptance testing. And in unit, unit testing and integration testing, developer can also do. Okay, user acceptance testing. What is the difference between bug leakage and bug release? Bug leakage is nothing but a, if, uh, if, if uh, bug is found in the, in, the, in the user environment, it is called bug leakage. If the bug release is nothing but it is found in the testing testing environment is called bug bug release. Okay. Mm. You got a defect. Yes, sir. You got a defect. You are sending to develop. But developer are saying it is not a defect. How can you convince with the that's a defect? By using the defective tool. But if we check the it is a general one but uh uh -huh, but uh, in your environment it is a defect. Yes, confirmed. Yes, but when it was going to the developer, he was saying that it is not a defect. Mm -hmm. How can you convince the developer? Okay, it is a defect, you need to fix. How can you convince them? Like uh, you are using edit tutorials or as I we can uh, we can use uh, screenshot methods like this. We have to send some of uh, some of defect uh, and <coughs> defect environment to the uh, developer. So, like, we need to say uh, Screenshot and reference document. Okay. And uh, yeah, you told that you are knowledge are generating test scenarios and writing test cases. And uh, what is the test scenario? What is test case? Test scenario is nothing but a part to do test is called a test scenario. And test case is nothing but how to do this called test cases. Yeah, okay. Uh, you said that collecting test data. How can you prepare the uh, test data? By using, by using the requirement. Is there any techniques? Yes, sir. There are five techniques. Yeah, what are they? There are boundary value analysis, equivalent class partition, state transaction decision making, and error yes. These are the test. Okay, these are things you are uh, using for the preparing this data. Which techniques are coming under the input domain this? Just uh, after it. Sorry, like I am saying that you need to test the text, text box. Yes, sir. How can you test the text box? Like uh, which by, you use? by using boundary value analysis. We have only boundary value analysis and equivalent class partition also. Sir. 
Yeah, okay. Now you can say, use the boundary value analysis formula. There is a P. It is a enter your age P. They are saying the minimum age is 19 and maximum age is 30. How can you prepare the valid and invalid data? Valid data if you enter uh, 19, it is the valid data. If you, uh, nine, between 19 to 30 is the valid data. If you enter more than 30 or less than 19 is good. Okay, and if you enter 19, 20, 30, 19, 20, 21, 22, these are the most. Yes sir. Uh -huh. No sir, only one, only one that we have there. Uh, what are the formulas? Like there is a valid formula, sir. There is a valid formula, sir. What are the formulas? What we can say that it is similar to like this try for the this is a specific formula, right? Like the only minimum, only maximum plus one, right? And the minimum plus one and maximum minus one. Mm -hmm. so minimum plus one and maximum, sorry. Minimum minus one and maximum plus one can't be valid or not? Sir, can you repeat once again? Uh, minimum minus one, maximum plus one are valid or not? Maximum minus one, minimum plus one. Uh, minimum minus one, maximum plus one. Yeah, okay. And again, uh, you mentioned that you are a manager of Ajay Petra. Yes. Like, uh, how many ceremonies are there in Ajay process? There are eight men. Ceremonies are four types. Yeah, what are they? Sprint planning, slum task, and uh, sprint uh, retrospective. Okay. Okay. And there is a sprint review meeting. Yes, sir. Okay, what we are discussing in sprint uh, daily stand up class? We have discussed the yesterday, yesterday's uh, work and today's work and uh, tomorrow's work, what to do. Yes, what are the inputs? Okay, now, so what is the sprint duration? Sprint duration is, uh, it, can, it consists of two to four weeks. Okay. Yeah, um, and you said that you have knowledge and arguments lunch. Yes. But before that, uh, I am asking a good one question. Knowledge and default reporting and uh, defect life cycle. What is meant by this defect life cycle? It is uh, defect life cycle is nothing but bug life cycle. Yeah, okay. Like uh, what are the activities you are doing in defect life cycle? The process. No the use cases. What is the process? We have to first we have to first assign in the defect assign the bug as assign the defect as a bug and in the new state. After that, it will open state, it will go to the open state. If the it is genuine bug, the developer can see genuine. If it is the genuine bug or not, if the, it is not genuine bug, it will, uh, the defect will open to the bug fixing state. After that, the developer will update the, will update the bug fixing state. After that, they will go to the retesting. After that, they will go to the regression. If the regression is passed, then it will uh, deploy into the SDS. Yeah, okay. And what is meant by retesting? Retesting is nothing but if the defect is found out by find by the tester, if the developer can accept and uh, develop the code to fix the defect, after that we have to test again and again to fix the defect is the retest. Like what we are exactly doing? We have to checking checking the defect whether it is fixed or not is properly fixed or not. Now yeah, you mentioned that you have knowledge that Java concepts. And what are the four pillars containing loops? That is encapsulation, abstraction, and uh, inheritance and polymorphism. What? Okay, what is the difference between static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism? Static polymorphism is uh, done in the compile time, and the dynamic polymorphism is done in the runtime. Static, uh, static. Why we are getting this polymorphism? Like, why we are getting this uh, compile time? What is the overloading if the if two methods are same then it will over it will in same class or in same class sir. Two overloading methods we are using static. Like how you can start with by using uh, by using the by using the static method. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. Okay. 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 Reverse of string program without using reverse method. Yes, sir. By using character. Okay, like uh, just uh, go to the other. No need to write the program. Just give the other. Yes, sir. First, we have to create one uh, character. Then we have to use. Uh, we have to use. We have to use. We have to use. 
Okay, how can you handle uh, routers? By using this selected class. No, selected class they have following the yeah, okay. we are the same. How can you handle uh, file up? Sir? File up? File up also we have we can handle by robot class. If you are importing from Java or the AWD package from Java. What is uh operation of AWD? Abstract window and uh, yeah, uh, some questions and uh, okay, find it one. How many locators are they? There are eight locators in CDDs. What are they? That is ID, name, class name, tag name, in text, partial in text, export as CSS selectors. And uh, which, are, which locator you are mostly using in your uh, programs? I have before the experts are because uh, it, it will be one. Uh, how many types of experts are there? There are two types of experts. Sir. One is absolute and second one is clear. Okay, uh, yes, uh, that's nice. What is the difference between CD node and uh, double node? See, we can do enter part in CD node, sir. Only we, in double node, we have to do only the attribute value. Attribute and attribute value is double node. CD node is also known as? Root node. Sir. Now, what are the conditions available in testing? And there are and before shoot, after um, before shoot, uh, before uh, before test, before class, after after uh, method, before shoot, before uh, before shoot, before test, before class, before method, after test, after method, after class. After test, after shoot, these are the animations available and the parameter and the parameter and the parameter and the parameter and the Why are you using this class? To listen the program and tell it to how to give the output. Uh, for the most purpose feature, which of you are using? Are you using? Uh, we have, we, we have uh, generating reports by using test and uh, to advance these reports, uh, we have to use the extent reports. Excel reports uh, uh, advantage. We can use the uh, good, uh, good, uh, good report, good results, and uh, it will be colorful compared to the test in this. And version control tool you are using? Yes, sir. Git. Git and Git, right? Yes. After the code completion, what we care? Uh, what is the process of pushing the code into Git? We have to we have to create a one bit in git file and git 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 folder. Then we have to go to the exchange and search search for a git report. Ah, this is the that smart you are taking T. Okay, sir. We have to we have to right click on a uh, project and go to team and share the project. And then after that we have to we have to add to the uh, add to add to the index. And the amid and let them push the input to the input. Yeah, uh, it's okay. By the way, question what is the difference between R and beta testing? Okay, uh, R for testing is nothing but uh, if uh, it will test in the test environment uh, with uh, some selected people. So, yes, beta is nothing but uh, it will test the test in the yeah. real time environment. Yeah, okay. What is the difference between bug and failure? Bucking is nothing but it will act. If the defect is act, accepted by the developer, it is called a bug. If failure is nothing but uh, the defect will be found in the end user's uh, environment is called failures. Why they are doing testing? To produce the quality of the software or product. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, this is my uh, real part of it. Thanks. 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 Thanks.